News in Fort Tree today. We are at the first Three Kings pop-up shop where they are highlighting local black businesses. This is a pop-up shop. You are here specifically for your black business. Tell me a little bit about your business called The Crew. The Crew was originally just four guys hanging out. We wanted to brand ourselves as when we went out. So we came up with a certain design of clothes. So then, you know, we was like, hey, man, you know, we had the crew logo. We had the shirts. We was like, people know that. So let's take it further. So we went back and did like 90s classic TV shows like Martin, like movies as well, Love and Basketball. We wanted to bring that essence back and that feel of the 90s to get it back, you know, to make black back cool again. Because all this new stuff is not just not what we was accustomed to growing up. So like, you know, the human designs that we do, just things like that. And I love that because you have like the Martin design. And I personally have the living single um, one and I love it. I just love it because it's just that black pride. And, you know, do you feel like that's what drives your business? Is that black pride behind it? It's more, black pride is the basis of it. But more so just taking the works of other black successful people and saying, hey, it's cool to embrace that. Like, you know, um, the living single, which is a custom one ain't no other person got that but you just to throw that out there um but it's to have that pride and to say hey this is who we are this is what we stand for this is what we relate to living single gave so many people so much reference i mean like khadijah with them like it's so much in it you know that we we attach ourselves to that's what i wanted to get and not just morally i mean merely yes keep it black since this is a pop-up shop, you know, you're here representing your black business. Tell me a little bit about your business and what is it called? Well, our business is called LaRue. We have 100% authentic African clothing. Uh, we are here to basically promote Africa. We want black people to, to be proud of their culture. So we want to provide an incentive for them to come and be proud of who they are. So that's what we try to do here with our clothes. Now, from my understanding, y'all will be having a shop that will be opening up soon. Tell me a little bit about that so, if, you know, the Better Black News audience can know about it. Absolutely. We actually open up a retail store slash salon. So we have barbers, we'll have um, beauticians, we'll have nail techs, and we'll also have the retail store where you can come buy your dashikis, your dresses. We're going to have um, women's bikinis. We're going to have kids' clothes. We're going to have scarves and head wraps. So we're going to have all kinds of accessories as well. So this is a really good, you know, avenue for you to come at this pop-up shop to display your business. So, Absolutely. so I'm happy. Absolutely. And we'll hold events like this as well where we invite other vendors who have um, their own business to where they can come and promote their business as well. You're here representing your business, which is the catering business, right? Or Okay, so tell me a little bit about it. Well, pretty much, man. I pretty much just go out Monday through Friday, every other Saturday, and I go out and I take care of the community when it comes to catering. I cater pretty much anywhere. If you got, if you out here and you hungry, I got you. You see what I'm saying? And so, uh, but it all, it, it also depends on the uh, district where you at. Like sometimes I go to Norman. You know, just sometimes. You want me to come to Norman? You gotta have a lot. You got you gotta put it in for me like that, okay? But yeah, man, that's pretty much what it is. And uh, then I pretty much uh, I cater. When it comes to main events, I do, I just did the uh, capital. I just did the capital. It was a 200, it was a 200, uh, 200 number capital uh, count when it came to the people. And then uh, pretty much when it comes to uh, the catering, as long as, as long as you're here in the city and you want me to come to you, as long as you, you got, as long as you got the right amount, you know what I mean? I got you. Yeah, I got you. I, I don't discriminate on, no, I don't care where you at. Wherever you are. That's what I love about you because you actually deliver to the people. Like you cook it and it's not like you've got to come to you. You bring it to them and I love that. What made you want to do that? Well, I'll tell you this, man. I've been cooking since I was 10. And it, this is a real life story. My very first cake I made, I burnt it. My mom, she said, go in there, redo it. And so since then, I, I feel like I've been having a love for that. Just to be good and be perfect when it comes to creating food. And so... When it comes to the delivering, I've been delivering since I was 18, 19. I'll be 28 in July. And so I've been out here doing this for a long time and it's just now starting to peak up and open up for me. King Leo, uh, Facebook King Leo, uh, Instagram, Mr. Busy Man, and on uh, Snapchat, it's uh, King Leo the King, man, I'm sorry, man. I've been, I've been doing a lot of stuff, but, hey, I appreciate y'all, boom. Not only was this event fun, but it was very informative. It highlighted local black businesses here in Oklahoma City. I'm Jillian Whitaker reporting for Better Black News, reminding you to be better.